It seems scientists have made a stunning discovery about new limits to how fast one can travel. No known object can travel faster than the speed of light in a vacuum, which is 299,792 kilometers per second according to Albert Einstein's special theory of relativity. Because of this speed restriction, it is doubtful that humans will ever be able to send spacecraft beyond our Milky Way's immediate neighborhood. However, a new study from the University of Göttingen's Eric Lentz reveals that there may be a method to get beyond this barrier. The catch is that his plan demands a tremendous amount of energy and may not be capable of propelling a spacecraft. What does this discovery entail, and how exactly does it work? Stay tuned while we explore these questions. When humanity is no longer constrained by a fraction of the speed of light, we may be able to travel to the stars. Many examples of spaceships traveling at the speed of light or faster can be found in science fiction films. Is it, however, conceivable to travel faster than the speed of light? An American physicist has suggested a proposal for how faster-than-light travel can be achievable in a new research study. Eric Lentz, a researcher at the University of Göttingen in Germany, conducted the study. Lentz and his colleagues believe that in the future, travel to faraway stars and planets may be conceivable. However, this can only happen if spacecraft travel faster than the speed of light. In one second, light can travel 300,000 kilometers. According to Albert Einstein's famous theory of relativity, it is impossible to move faster than the speed of light. Light travels quickly. In reality, it is the quickest object that exists, and nothing can move faster than light, according to the laws of the cosmos. Light travels at a speed of 186,000 miles per second, and it takes just over a second to travel from the Earth to the Moon. In the blink of an eye, light may travel from Los Angeles to New York. While 1% of anything may not seem like much, when it comes to light, that's still a lot of speed, close to 7 million miles per hour. It would take a little over a second to go from Los Angeles to New York at 1% the speed of light. This is tens of thousands of times faster than a typical airliner. Traditional energy sources, according to Eric Lentz, may be capable of structuring the structure of spacetime in the form of a soliton, a powerful solitary wave. This soliton would function as a warp bubble, compressing space in front of it while expanding space behind it. Space-time, unlike anything within it, can bend, expand, or warp at any speed. As a result, a spacecraft trapped in a hyperfast bubble may travel faster than light in normal space without violating any physical constraints, including Einstein's cosmic speed limit. Bullets can travel at more than three times the speed of sound at 2,600 miles per hour. With a peak speed of 7,000 miles per hour, NASA's X-3 jet plane is the fastest aircraft on the planet. Although this is great, it is still only 0.001% of the speed of light. Spacecraft are the fastest human-made objects. They use rockets to break free from Earth's gravity, which requires traveling at a speed of 25,000 miles per hour. NASA's Parker Solar Probe is the spacecraft that is going the quickest. It took off from Earth in 2018 and flew through the sun's blistering atmosphere using the sun's gravity to achieve speeds of 330,000 miles per hour. That's incredible speed. Yet, it's only 0.05% the speed of light. Why is it difficult to achieve even 1% of the speed of light? What is preventing humanity from achieving 1% of the speed of light? Any moving thing has energy as a result of its movement. This is referred to as kinetic energy by physicists. To travel quicker, you must increase your kinetic energy. The issue is that increasing speed requires a lot of kinetic energy. It takes four times the energy to make anything go twice as fast. Increasing the speed of something by three times necessitates nine times the energy, and so on. For example, it would cost 200 trillion joules to accelerate an adolescent weighing 110 pounds to 1% of the speed of light, a measurement of energy. It is possible to accelerate something to 1% of the speed of light, but this would require a tremendous amount of energy. 
Is it possible for humans to make something go even faster? Yes, engineers, on the other hand, must devise new methods for moving objects in space. All rockets, including SpaceX and Blue Origin's sleek new rockets, utilize rocket fuel that isn't dissimilar to gasoline in a car. The issue is that fuel combustion is inefficient. Electric or magnetic forces are used in other ways to propel a spacecraft. The method that powers the sun, nuclear fusion, is likewise far more efficient than chemical fuel. Many additional means to travel quickly are being investigated by scientists, including warp drives, the faster-than-light travel popularized by Star Trek. A solar sail is one promising approach to get anything moving quickly. These are huge, thin plastic sheets attached to a spacecraft and designed to allow sunlight to press against them, similar to how wind pushes against a sail. Solar sails have been deployed by a few spacecraft to demonstrate that they operate, and experts believe that a solar sail may push a spacecraft to 10% of the speed of light. As a result, recent research on the topic has focused on hypotheses that go beyond conventional explanations of the matter. To achieve faster-than-light travel, they propose hypothetical particles and states of matter with extraordinary physical properties. According to the paper by Lentz and his colleagues, this type of material is either unavailable or cannot be made in sufficient quantities. The new work emphasizes a feasible engineering solution rather than theoretical research. The study outlines a strategy for enabling speedy travel by constructing a network of solitons, which serve as the foundation for a powerful propulsion system. A soliton is a small wave that maintains its speed and shape while traveling with minimal energy loss. According to the research, such technology might allow for travel at any speed. The findings were just published in the journal Classical and Quantum Gravity. According to a new statement describing the procedure, the technology uses the very structure of space and time structured in a soliton to propose a solution to faster-than-light travel. According to Reuters, such warp drive technology might be employed to drastically shorten travel times. This could pave the way for future travel to far-flung space objects. Proxima Centauri is the closest star beyond our solar system. It's 4.25 light years away from us. The distance traveled by light in a year is measured in light years. It would take 50,000 to 70,000 years to reach Proxima Centauri using ordinary rocket fuel, according to Lentz. According to him, a trip employing nuclear propulsion technology would take roughly 100 years. A light speed journey, on the other hand, would take only four years and three months, according to Lentz. Faster-than-light travel, according to the researchers' plan, might lead to far interstellar travel within a human lifetime. According to Lentz, a lot more work will be required to make the idea a reality. To be useful, the amount of energy required would have to be reduced to that of modern nuclear power reactors. He also stated that a method for developing and speeding up the solitons must be devised. The research and development process, according to Lentz, is challenging but not impossible. Additional steps could be taken in the coming years with a fully working version likely within the next 10 years, according to him. In the years following, he suggested, the first really light speed excursions may be tested. In my lifetime, I'd like to see this technology in use, Lentz added. The astrophysicist stated that he will now concentrate his efforts on developing a practical version of the technique. This research has taken the subject of faster-than-light travel from theoretical research in fundamental physics to engineering, said Dr. Lentz. The next stage is to figure out how to lower the huge amount of energy required down to a level that today's technologies, such as a large modern nuclear fission power plant, can handle. Then we'll get to work on the prototypes. The findings were published in the Classical and Quantum Gravity Journal. The concept of speed does not exist physically beyond the speed of light, since it requires measuring a specific amount of distance traveled in space over a specific length of time. The expression faster than light is, in fact, worthless in terms of physics. It's the same thing as saying darker than black. According to special relativity, nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. According to the hypothesis, if something exceeds this limit, it will travel backward in time. What do you think of this discovery? Comment below.